Okay guys, I had a viewer send me a question about how to find the hand that pulls the garment and assists you in fitting in the 3D window. So you actually can load your avatar. You'll see that there's a crosshair uh, right close to your uh, render button, which is a down arrow for render. You have to actually create a garment before you are able to see the hand that is uh, so helpful in pulling the garment and positioning it the way that you want it to in your 3D window. So I'm going to make a quick garment here, just a little shift dress, add a dart, and uh, just create a pattern so you can see where the hand is located and how it is used. So I'll also go over another tip here. When you are creating a dart, you can actually move the dart and position the dart to where you want it to be on the garment. I like to have my dart lines uh, for a dress sync up with my waistline. So wherever the actual waistline is, I like to sync up the middle of the dart to that waistline. That helps with the fitting. Um, the curve tool helps me shape my armhole and neckline and then I could use my symmetry uh, selection in the right click menu to uh, create another half that will symmetrically edit at the same time. So I just cut and paste the back because we're doing a real quick garment and for the back neck I like to uh, keep it symmetric so I'll delete the point and add it back once I have a straight line at the back neck I will add the point back by splitting it in half uniform split that's also in your right click menu for your adding your dart I mean your dot your point and then I add a line and I want to get back to symmetric editing so I'm going to shape the neck the way that I want it at the back And then I'm going to give it a nice little back neck drop. And then we're actually going to cut it in half and uh, add symmetry again. So cut and sew. I don't want it to sew. I actually want it to be one piece. So I'm actually going to cut it and then add my symmetry um, for my right click menu. So now we have two symmetrical patterns. I'll show you a little bit about sewing. Uh, there is segment sewing, which you can sew one segment to another. It doesn't have to be the same size, but in my case, it is the same size. And then there is free sewing, which you can sew along the line. And when you have symmetry on, it will sew both sides. So symmetry is good in that way that it will sew um, front and back, left and right at the same time. Okay, so sewing the dart also works the same way. I use the um, edit, uh, sewing segment for that. And now let's get our arrangement points out in your 3D window tool, tool menu. You have arrangement points that are also used now I just click the cross here so you can see that once I click the cross here I'm able to move the piece I select you can move pieces around with your crosshair before simulating so when your render button is on you will not see the crosshair when your render button is clicked you will see something different that will help you move the garment but it will not move the whole piece so now I've done my front and back and added it to my arrange my 3D arrangement points and you'll see why that's good on another tape but always use your 3D arrangement points and there's the sewing so now right below my render arrow is my hand the hand is used to pull the garment to position it the way that you want it to look on the body sometimes when you use the bounding points 
The bounding points um, may position the garment maybe too high or too low, more than you want. And then after uh, rendering or uh, ah, symmetry, <laughs> after you render the sewing, you can uh, pull it around and position it to the way you want. And I think that is going to be it for my hand thing. So now let's just talk about fitting a little bit. You can, when you have symmetry on, if you move the, the size of the pattern, it will move the size the same left to right on that piece. So if you have a piece that has symmetry on it that shows by that dotted line, you will move it in the same distance. It might not look like it, but you're actually adding the same amount of width or length to the top and bottom of the garment. So I'll shorten these darts a little bit. Darts in the front and darts in the back don't usually end up in the same place. So you will have to position it to where you want it to go. And you can manipulate the garment once you have it placed to where you want it to be. You can add to your sweep. You can add to your hip. You can manipulate it uh, any way you want while your uh, sewing is all rendered. And I think I'm going to stop right there, guys. So this was my uh, quick tip for sewing in Clo. Okay, guys, here's a little bit of a bonus tip in case you didn't notice. Sometimes when you are working in your 3D window, you kind of move your avatar around a bit too much. And you might not know how to get back to center. So here I am just moving things around and I'm actually clicking on the window and I'm dragging so that I can see where um, position I want to see on the avatar. So remember these numbers, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, and 0. That will help you get your avatar in the center of the 3D window and it will put you back in control of what you're seeing. Okay, that's a bonus tip. Bye-bye.